Hey, when the four wheelers are down, we don't let that stop us. We're going fishing. Got him. Finally. Red breast. He inhaled that little trout magnet craw. And I want to take just a minute to ID it because in my last video, which I'll post a link right here, I changed from calling them a pumpkin seed to a dollar sunfish and I went back and looked at, you know, some different pictures and identification and I was mistaken yet again. It was in fact long ear that I was catching in the last video and the only difference between a long ear and a red breast that I found was the, was the length of this gill fin. So this has a very long gill fin just like the ones that I was catching in the last video and a dollar sunfish looks almost identical but in the picture the gill fin is much, much shorter. And so you can see definitely here, kind of a red breast. So this is a long air sunfish or red breast. First fish of the day, we're gonna let it go. Just broke off for like the fourth time. I'm quickly running out of jig heads and we've not been down here, you know, 30, 45 minutes. So just trying these deep holes around uh, root balls or trees that have come out. We're getting a bite right there. The water's really murky here in the shallows. But if it's a deep hole, it's a it's kind of a dark green color. And so we're looking for those spots, casting into them. So we're in a little canal here that feeds a larger creek. And there's been a lot of fish caught out of here. Catfish, bass, and a lot of red breast sunfish or long ears whatever you want to call them and a few uh grenels or bowfin which i'd really like to catch one of those Whoop. now check that out there have been some really nice bass caught out of this canal this isn't one of them but he'll grow Try it one more time and move on. Whoop. Well, he hit it when he hit the water. We are on some tiny fish. Oh yeah. Finally got a decent fish. Well he's tied up with a fish. I'm gonna fish the spot. 
I ain't got the cast distance you got. Whoop, whoop. The fish didn't even know it. <laughs> Y'all check this out. We might have found where a couple of bigger ones were holding up. Doubled up. Mine don't come off. That's awesome. What do we got now? Tied on a Ned rig, we think. That's bigger than the one you just caught, no? That's bigger than the one you caught. One I caught bigger than that. That's a nice little fish. <laughs> what do you think, bass tacos? Or let him go? I don't care. Well, I'll tell you what, if we catch some more, we'll wish we had a mess of them. If we only get this one, we'll wish we'd throw him back. So, you gotta start somewhere. We're gonna have a crappie lunch after a while. We might try a little, I think that's a spot. Spotted bass with them. Throw her. Throw her basket out here. That is the first fish I have ever caught on one of those. But we might see if there's another one out there. Well, we hadn't caught just a whole lot of fish. <clears throat> We've only caught two or three that were any size at all. And one of them, decent enough, we're gonna take it back to cook. Uh, we're already planning to cook mess of crappie this afternoon so we'll probably just cook him with that uh basically wanted to make sure we brought the basket along for something so let's stick a fish in it i'm um, just walking downstream now where there's not near as many holes and just looking for the next one we'll fish it real quick if we don't catch anything out of that hole this is the last thing that you're going to see keep it digging Turn this one slowly. Huh. Which hole? Into the hose here? Or down here? That's a good concern. Huh? Just a second. Yo. Hey Joe, Joe, right here, right here, come here. Don't <laughs> take it out, Joe. Step right here. Don't step right here. Get that one out there. Joe, you just walked right there. Come on, man. Well, everybody, we made it back home. Appreciate you watching. Got to enjoy a fish fry with some family. We've got like half a five gallon bucket full of walnuts that the kids picked up. We got something planned with those. So make sure you click that subscribe button and head back to the channel. But in our next video, we got an invite to go get some catfish out of a local pond. And we've got a recipe planned for those that involve some corn that we picked this summer. And uh, we're gonna be making a catfish chowder. So I'm anxious to try it. You're gonna wanna see it. So be sure you check out our merch link in the description below. And uh, like always, we'll catch you next time right here on the J-Line.